Hey guys, today I'm coming at you with a month in outfits. This is the summer edition and I'm gonna have a winter edition coming on Thursday. We're going to be running through five themes starting with dresses. I love wearing just a simple dress in the summer because it is an easy one and done outfit. And for me, part of it is about kind of adding in those neutral color palettes like this beautiful, almost leopard printed dress. I also love dresses that can do double duty. This one here is from Everlane and you can actually wear it in the winter time as well by pairing it with tights and a little turtleneck underneath. I love how versatile that makes it. This next dress that's coming up is a little shirt dress and I love this sort of style for summer. It's a cotton poplin so pretty easy to throw on. I'm actually wearing it in a medium because I wanted something a bit more oversized and relaxed. Dress number four is a little wrap dress. I feel like this is a must in any wardrobe and I like the fact that this one has a really fun and flirty ruffle hem. Then we have a favorite from last year, which is this navy dress with a huge oversized statement ruffle. That to me is the killer detail on this and it really elevates the otherwise very simple style of the shift dress. The final dress that I wanted to share is another wrap dress, but this one's more of a midi length. It's in a cotton linen and I like the fact that it kind of has a bit of a beachy vibe, but it could be easily dressed up with a pair of pretty heels. The next theme we're moving on to is midi skirts. And again, I love these because they are so elegant. This first one is a leopard print dupe for the Realization Pass skirt. And I've worn it with a little crop top that you could kind of tuck the skirt in if you didn't want to show off any skin. For look number two, I've gone for an all black outfit, which is still my favorite even in the summertime. I love the buckle detail on this because it's a tortoiseshell print, kind of adds a little bit of something fun to the outfit. Outfit three is pairing two of my favorite colors together, an ivory color with a nude blush. I just think it's so pretty, very feminine, and the broderie anglais detail on the skirt is just divine. Now, one of my favorite additions to my wardrobe of late has been this beautiful red wrap dress. It's so vibrant, so fun, and I think it is just such a standout piece. You could pair it with a cami or with a little tee, great for every day. This one here is more of a, I guess more of a formal skirt and I love the buttons on the side. I just think it is such an elevated detail. This is an item you could easily wear for work if you wanted with a simple blouse. The final midi skirt look is this beautiful ruffle hem skirt. I paired it with a super oversized white tee and just some simple flats. I really wanted to keep it simple and make the skirt the hero of this outfit. Next up we have shorts, which are probably my most worn staple of the summer. I really love a good denim short worn with a beautiful oversized shirt. I just think this is such an easy breezy way to wear it while still feeling a little bit done up and not too casual. If I had to pick a favorite pair of denim shorts in my wardrobe, it'd be these white ones from Dr. Denim. They are super fresh and being white, they go with absolutely everything. I paired them with a little cotton shirt again, just to help to elevate the look and a pointed toe flat. Look number three is wearing these really fun Philip Flim shorts, which I actually think are on sale. I'm gonna link them in the description box. I have paired it with a white tee and some sneakers just for a fun casual outfit. This is something I'd wear to run errands. Then I wanted to kind of go for something a little bit more buttoned up. So I've worn a long sleeve black linen shirt with these navy shorts and some braided sandals just to add a little bit more lightness and vibrance to the look. The next outfit pairs this super gauzy, super oversized blouse from Matan with some black denim shorts and some loafers. I also throw on a little straw hat as well because it's probably how I'd wear it if I was wandering around outside. Then the final shorts look is a little bit more, I guess, playful and young. I've worn this peplum hem top with my other Dr. Denim shorts in the blue and then I've also got on some simple snakeskin sandals. Then I kind of wanted to focus a little bit on summer denim. I know it's a bit of a wild card, but if I can, I do definitely reach for jeans in the warmer months. And one of the ways I do that is with a silk camisole. It's an easy yet chic outfit combination and a great pair of heeled sandals also helps kind of dress it up a little bit. Now black denim probably wouldn't seem like the best choice, especially if it's super hot, but I think that it can look really nice for the summer. Again, I've paired it with that little peplum hem top. I'm showing off a little bit of skin and I thought I'd go for a fun shoe. I've gone for another camisole look but this time I wanted to show you more of a casual way to wear it so instead of wearing heels I've got some simple strappy sandals on my feet and I love this for an everyday outfit. 
For this denim look, I've gone for more of a straighter leg jean, which is probably a better choice if it is super hot because the denim isn't going to be sticking to your legs. I really elevated it by wearing it with some strappy sandals. More black denim. This time I've kind of gone for an outfit I'd wear on a bit of a cooler summer day. So worn with an oversized blouse that isn't going to touch my skin too much and some backless mules, which add a really nice pop of color at my feet. Then the final denim look is some white jeans, which I think are a summer essential. I've gone for more of a blush tone outfit. So a pink colored tank and also some matching slingback pumps to complete the look. For the final set of outfits, I wanted to kind of theme them around mini skirts because again, this is such an essential for me. This skirt here in the camo print is more of a winter piece for me, but definitely something I would take through to the summer months as well, just pairing it with lighter pieces in my closet. Here, I've gone for that really oversized gauzy blouse again. I probably wear a little camisole underneath this and I've worn it loose over the top of a navy mini skirt. There's just a subtle difference in the colors and the textures here, which I really love. I adore a tonal outfit and neutrals have been such a big trend. So I kind of wanted to incorporate that into one of these looks. And I love how this stone colored tee pairs with this ecru skirt. And then I've worn a pair of nude lizard heels on my feet to kind of dress things up. This outfit pairs this super sweet pink crew neck tee, which has this red and white stripe detailing around the uh, sleeves and the neckline with a white denim mini skirt. One of my favorite pieces for the summer months. Again, another favorite of mine has been this ASOS denim skirt and I wear this a lot just with simple tank tops like this one. Anything in cotton which is super breathable is a winner for me and I love just throwing on a pair of simple sandals. For the final outfit, I've gone for, again, another favorite of mine, my J Crew wrap front top. Polka dots are such a staple for me and I love the fact that they kind of add a little bit of interest. Anyway, those are the 30 summer outfits. Now I am a little bit limited for how many of these items I can link in the description box. So I am going to leave down there a blog post which has all of the outfits details in one place and I will try and leave links for as many of the pieces down there as I possibly can. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you next time with a brand new video. See you soon. Bye!